I would say it's the most one of the most incredible things that I've I've gotten to work on in my career. Uh, I think a lot of our team can say that because it feels very impossible. I'm Sean Kittleson. I'm the SVP of Creative at Skydance Interactive. Behemoth is an action adventure game where you are Ren, an outsider who's come to the Forsaken Lands, this like fallen kingdom that's just filled with bloodthirsty people and giant rampaging monsters called the behemoths. Ren is afflicted with a curse and Ren has come to the Forsaken Lands seeking a, a way to lift the curse by killing all four behemoths. We want to be the game that anyone can pick up, whether it's their first hour in VR or their 10,000th hour in VR and say, it just feels right. The team has all of this experience from the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners in VR and found a real sweet spot with physics-based motion controlled combat. So instead of limiting ourselves to the inputs that you usually get, what if you had the infinite 360 wheel of your own, <laughs> your own arms, your own hands? And in many ways, it's like the game is an evolution that goes all the way back to the late 90s and an early Treyarch title called Die by the Sword. So Die by the Sword is, is legendary in PC gaming circles as a game that was so far ahead of its time that it could not be contained to any like normal input method. The number pad on the keyboard was actually how you would dial in your attacks and it was all physics based. So you would have to draw your right hand back to swing towards the left to get that like real left stroke. You couldn't just hit left and then go whoosh. Relentlessly complicated, but brilliant in its time. One of the architects of that game, actually the lead on that game, was, was Dr. Peter Ackerman, who's one of the co-founders of our studio. So Peter Ackerman has been instrumental in the success of things like Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, but has also brought this spirit of, wow, I wish I could just swing a sword in any direction and dismember things with it. Wouldn't that be cool if Die by the Sword 25, 26 years ago was so far ahead of its time because its inputs could not work with, with the technology available. Now we have the tech and the tech is your own body, your own hands. And it turns out that it's incredibly satisfying to have this style of play, but it does demand a different kind of game design. Why? Because you're actually asking them to do something physically. You're asking people to burn calories, to move muscles, to get their joints going. In the world of Walking Dead and in Saints and Sinners, one enemy is not really going to thwart you, even a human enemy. In Behemoth, you are afflicted with this curse that gives you some supernatural strength. The difference being that your enemies can kill you. One enemy can kill you in a few strokes. And you will get lethally proficient at taking down one enemy at a time, but then you'll face stronger enemies, you'll face multiple enemies. And in general, where you would need to face 16 walkers in The Walking Dead to feel genuinely threatened, two or more marauders in Behemoth are going to have you on your back foot. If you at all like Shadow of the Colossus and you and you were ever like, I wish I could climb something like that in real life, like come play this game. We're, we got you covered. Yeah, so many uh, folks on our team that put that game in their, their top 10. It's something that we saw as a response to after we released the first cinematic trailer a couple of years ago was, wow, if that's anything like Shadow of the Colossus in VR, that's what I've been looking for. I think that response really confirmed for the team their own instincts that, yeah, we love this game. Other people love this game. And if we can make any experience like that in VR, we're really cooking with something. But it is not a Shadow of the Colossus game. It's Behemoth. It's a it's its own game. This is much more of a mixed action adventure. So when you first see a Behemoth, you're not equipped. And you're going to look at it. You're going to say, there's no way that I can beat that thing. And then by the time that you reach it, you've had hours of practice with all of these new tools and skills and you get back and you see it in a different light. You see like, okay, you still look pretty tough, but I think I, I've got what it takes and I'm gonna go toe to toe with you. And that is so satisfying. So that's the journey of the game is about hunting the behemoths down, battling and hacking and slashing your way through intense combat situations, solving all kinds of environmental puzzles and, and getting into traversal challenges, really making use of your grappling hook to swing and zip and dash around the environment. And once you've got all of those pieces put together, you go into your behemoth fight and you, you see if you can make all of that into a winning strategy. 
we've revealed the first behemoth and we're ready to reveal our, our second meme. Dread Stag is the big one, and, and we want to show people just how big the game gets and just how big a behemoth gets, uh, because Dread Stag is, is our skyscraper. You can see how he's sort of occluded or obscured a bit by Cloud Layer. If you're high enough up that you're at his torso, you're going above a Cloud Layer. It's just awesome. But you do have to ascend it, and the basic means of fighting behemoths is you have to find a way to either bring them to your level or ascend to their level and attack their weak points. And if you can find and, and attack enough weak points, you can, you can bring them down. Grappling Hook is a central feature of the game, and the Grappling Hook has all of these different applications. It can be used to solve different environmental challenges, so there are things that you can pull and, and rip with the, the Grapple Hook that will move things, whether that's levers or, or whole doors or something like that. You're able to zip and reel yourself and swing from posts that are all throughout the game. So early on, you start getting used to zipping up to posts and using them for quick ascents. Then you get used to using them to do control descent, very like Tom Cruise Mission Impossible, like dropping down into something like you're gonna you're in a big heist. And then as you get further and further in, you get into some much more advanced things where you're zipping and leaping between posts and there's no floor to catch you and it's just you and you're swinging and you're basically Indiana Jones or a Spider-Man at that point. The game is Skydance's Behemoth. It's going to be out on uh, MetaQuest 2, MetaQuest 3, the uh, PlayStation VR 2, and on PC uh, via Steam and uh, Oculus Rift Store. Everywhere that you get your VR, pretty much, you should be able to get Skydance's Behemoth. And it'll be out this fall.